Alright. It's always Pingu. Oh, all right. Easy. It's what I'm talking about. People, the internet. Uh, it's been a week. Um, so over the weekend, uh, hello. It's been a it's been a week for me. Over the weekend, um, I was playing. It's playing a lot of Pokemon on the side, right? Like just Pokemon. Uh, Violet. Now I realized. I realized you can hook this up to uh, your phone. And I've been playing a ton of Pokemon Go recently, like a ton. I mean, like in the past basically right and i was able to like transfer over a bunch of the shinies that i got over the years like shiny charmanders shiny um where are they like i i transferred over probably like close to 50 pokemon but there's so many that like aren't in the game yet or at least i can't at least transfer it over yeah i'm not sure but I was like, oh, like, for sure, like, you could transfer Zapdos over, but no, you can't. So, I was very bummed out about that. But I think I had, like, yeah, one of my favorite Pokemon. Got a, a shiny Zangoose. Of course, we have, like, heaps of these guys. But, yeah, um, and, uh, shiny... Serena's as well. That's just like a few of the community days that I've done. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's been my weekend. Um, Sunday, I ended up watching um, literally the whole. Where am I? I ended up watching literally the whole of Darkwood by Pyrocynical. Um, I literally just I need to stop saying literally. I laid in my bed all weekend went to like aldi in the morning so i could get a bunch of snacks and just binge the entire thing in one sitting there's a few times like where i fell asleep and like had to wake up and rewind but no uh ads one time speed one sitting like that that that's a feat the thing is this is cooked i had an okay line against this but there's one issue. It relied on sacking Ponyta. And I currently don't have an out for Zero Aura because I was like, oh yeah, I'll just sack, sack it against the Bishop. So that means the Zygarde 10% can come out. And then we just sack and then go into uh, Wall Rain, which just hits Ice Beam and kills. That was the idea. But this has Flame Body, and I have I currently have nothing for the Zero Aura for Watson. Um, yeah, and like I'm just literally just stuck on that. Before in the past, we used, um, what did we use? Uh, what's his name? Before in the past, we used Token Amaru to like deal with the Zero Aura, but without a Token Amaru, you kind of just screwed for that fight. And I don't know any other way to take out that Zero Aura. Because how quick it is, it does crazy damage. Um, yeah, I like Flame Body. This is literally the only way that I have figured out personally in my brain to take out Zero Aura. So this can't be sacked. Which means something else needs to be sacked. And I have no idea who goes. But someone that also takes care of Bishop. So we're going to have to calc for this first before we go any further because we might need to actually go to the Rustbury Tunnel now rather than later to see if there's a better encounter there. Alright, Roxanne. Because we didn't get Togedomaru, we were heavily punished. And because we didn't get a good physical type attacker, 
were also punished because we have nothing great that deals with the um, bishop in the front. We're relying on two things. We're relying that it goes grass knot instead of knockoff. From what I can see, there is no knockoff AI, but knockoff still has a higher chance. The thing is, we wasted a scale to you uh, to bump this thing's health to 31. We could bump its defense up to 31, um, which means that it always goes grass knot. Um, but then Zygarde might not see kill, which is the downside. And on the Zygarde, we're hoping that Cedra can kill, but. It's not the end of the world because we probably sacking the Seedra to go into Celio to kill with Aurora Beam. And that's what I have planned. Let's see how we go. This isn't riskless, but it, I don't think it ends our run. So Bishop lead. We are faster than this bishop by two. And we have to, it's a, we go bubble beam, bubble beam. We're hoping it hits grass knot instead of knockoff. Let's go bubble beam. Okay, it goes knockoff. All right, this is getting sacked now. I think that was also highest roll knockoff, right? Uh, how much was that? Seventy minus thirty-three. Okay, that was the lowest roll knockoff. We go bubble beam. All right, and this always sees kill with thousand arrows at this point. All right, <laughs> goodbye, Cedra. You could have been good. So going to Celia, which was our backup in case we did get that range. Let me just go Rory Beam. It, it can't crit kill us. Minus special attack doesn't do anything. Oh wait, it does? Okay. But we're not dead here. Unless it crits, and then we're definitely dead. I didn't see the Skitty Smack play. Alright. So let me just double check one thing then. If we chuck Never Melt Ice on this. Okay, if we chuck never melt ice, it, it always died. So it does go Aurorus now then. So now this is random move, but not body slam, which is good. Because we're relying on Teddy Fresh to kind of clutch up here. Power Gem's the best move it can do. We're hoping just to one-shot this with submission, but the thing is, it does like 35 recoil damage to us, like 35%. So we're hoping that we can survive the recoil damage after submission. There's like a 10% where it lives. I mean, like it, 90% where it lives, but 10% where it dies. And goes Earth Power for highest damage. Or Discharge. Okay, Earth Power. All right, now we're not dead to recoil. No, we are dead to recoil. No, no, wait, no, we shouldn't. We should just be on like two. 
Yeah, okay. So now it brings out Lunar Tune, fast kill. Well, we're going to Crawdaunt. Did you see his kill with knockoff? This is a one attack Crawdaunt, so it's crazy that this can even kill. Beautiful. We do have Chesto Berry on this in case it goes Hypnosis. Beautiful. So I think now it has to go Caracosta for Ancient Power. Okay, just go Soul Rock, easy. We go Knock Off, Knock Off. Just go Knock Off. It can kill from here. Beautiful. Okay, so now this is Ancient Power. Okay. So Ancient Power Crit always kills us from this point. So the plan here is to go into Carnivine. No AP boost, please. We go Leaf Tornado. Now AP boost doesn't matter. And then it goes Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet crit never kills. to waste the one scale there but doesn't matter all right Cedra um you were kind of the goat for like special attack but didn't see the the grass knot on you and you didn't um yeah just didn't want to be the guy right Cedra I'll see you next run Hopefully you have Dragon Scale. But now we get a few level ups. Um, one being, I think Crow Gunk evolves now. Oh, I had Pokemon volume all the way down. <sighs> Damn it. Alright. My bad. I'm sorry editing Yazi. The worst slog of the game. I hate that slog. Just because there's nothing. Like, you're just wasting an hour of your time. Alright, let's get our encounter. Uh, with Olympus? No, with you. Alright. So in this cave, Rustford Town, a uh, tunnel. A lot of really good guys. Teddy Earth is kind of what you want. Glygar's insane as well. Um, you could try and get Magnet Pool Gear, dude, but it doesn't matter. So we're just going to go for the encounter. Let me double check. Balls. We've got enough. All right. Yep, 
Who have we got? Gligar's perfect. I think I'm just gonna chuck a quick ball at this. So this is always hyper cutter, so its attack can never be dropped. And no item, impish. That that thing is insane. Holy crap! What the hell? What is that? What is that? Man, I hate... I hate this slog so much. Like, after you beat Roxanne, it's like the most demoralizing part of the game. Because, like, it's like, oh, do I keep going? Do I relax a bit or whatever? But, like, it's just all fights that, like, are all underleveled and just uh, horrible. Not horrible to calc for, but it's like, I can do this in my sleep, but it just wastes an hour and a half. Alright, let's see what we get. Worth a scale for poison heal? Wait, what? You can get the hidden abilities? Uh, how, do you, how do you get hidden abilities? Alright. Uh, maybe not sure. Oh, it's okay, we'll just use that anyways. Alright, so what do I want here? It's like, you just kind of always want, um, pedal. Fungus is fun. I have actually ran Fungus before. Um, Mudbray would be insane here. And Need Arena would be amazing as well. Plus, we didn't use our Moonstone yet. Alright, let's see who we get. Uh, so last time we had this where our fanfy with battle armor was. Okay. I'll just use a quick ball. Monarch. Alright, let's have a look at this little girl. And then I'm gonna call it night. Um, I'm buggered. Poison touch. That's, that's alright. Cause like... Need arena. Like, uh... This, this can be a physical attacker over a special attacker. He meant to delay this for Earth Power, right? Yeah, Earth Power on 34. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call it there. Um, I've had a really long stream today. Three and a half hours. <laughs> Which I like to call long, but uh, thanks for those who came along. Um, I'll be live seven o'clock tomorrow, and this video should be up by five thirty tomorrow. See you.